At the very top of northern Quebec in the Canadian Arctic, there's a perfectly round, water-filled crater that can be seen from outer space. It was formed when a meteorite hit the Earth 1.4 million years ago, making it one of the oldest lakes in the Western Hemisphere. It is a fascinating site, first of all, because it has been created by something extraterrestrial. Also, it's fascinating and spectacular because of its state of preservation. It's one of the best preserved crater lakes and craters in the world. But Crater Lake's most remarkable features lie in its depths. Beneath the water are layers of sediment, brimming with fossils and organic matter, and they hold the clue to the history of hundreds of thousands of years of climate change. Crater Lake is really special to the uh, scientific community because it can provide long-term views of past climate change. Due to its special over-deepened shape, it uh, holds sediments that have escaped um, glacial erosion. This rain of particles accumulates over time at the lake bottom and kind of archives uh, like, like a book. In essence, Crater Lake is a time machine. Knowledge of past climate holds the key to forecasting future weather and environmental change. We can actually see how natural climate actually changed over time, how fast it changed, and these give us important clues to uh, the present day impact of human um, pollution on the atmosphere and the environment. And we use this detailed um, information about past climates to be able to better predict uh, future climates. The research being done at Crater Lake is supremely important. It's the ultimate bellwether of global climate change. Canadian scientists should be aware of the fragility of these freshwater ecosystems because climate change is accelerated and amplified in Arctic regions and understanding the fragility of Arctic uh, climates uh, can tell us a lot about um, climate change uh, elsewhere on this planet.